Hey everybody, check out this gun. Well, she's not a really a gun. She's not really a gun at all, but she's really fast. She is a bagel shepherd mix and she's come to us all the way from Kentucky. As you can see, she's really loving the weather here. She loves snow. I don't know sure if you guys in Kentucky get snow, probably in the mountains, right? Um, I've never been to Kentucky in November, but uh, this is pretty, this is atypical for weather around here. We don't usually get uh, cold, cold temperatures like this and uh, this much snow, generally speaking in mid-November. She sees something. She does the pointer thing too. I don't know if anyone has a beagle or not, but... She does point, she loves squirrels, she loves rabbits. So sometimes taking her for a walk takes a bit of time, but it's okay, cause this is her time. She loves the smell. She loves to stop and sniff every little thing. Anyone out there have a beagle? You can see the white tip tail there. Looks definitely shepherd-like. Speaks with a little bit of a drawl. It's kind of hard to understand her because she speaks Kentuckian. But uh, we're managing. Oh, she's off again. So this is what it's like here. I guess you call it Southern Ontario. Oh, he sees a little puppy out there. That's what's going on. She loves, she loves playing with her friends. All right, I'm gonna make a video soon and we'll get to it. Well, I'm back in from the uh, from the cold. It's raining now, <clears throat> but that's the way it goes in this time of year. Let's get some more light here. So today's video is it's kind of out of frame here. Um, yeah, the Wheeler 89 piece uh, gunsmithing set. I decided to spend a bit of money and invest in some good tools. Um, I figured it was cheaper to buy a set of good tools than having to uh, replace or repair gnarled up screws and things like that. So, plus it's kind of fun to, to buy some new stuff, right? So anyway, here's the, uh, here's the box. This set here was $115 Canadian. You guys can search how to change that to the currency of whatever country uh, you happen to be watching from. And you can pause this too if you want to check out some more details. This set, uh, this set looks pretty good. And if you want to look at some specs, you can always look it up too as well online. I guess it's hardened, these, uh, these parts are yeah, these components are hardened to uh, 56 to 58 uh, Rockwell C hardness. Um, and I'm not really familiar with the rock, Rockwell hardness scale, but it's a measurement to determine the hardness of steel. So you can take a look and see how that compares to the tools that you might have at home. So I'm going to open it up and uh, take a look at it. Be adjusting this camera too. My tripod is kind of Frankenstein. You got tape on it and some other things to hold it still. Nice little case. Um, too bad it doesn't have a handle. That's got to be kind of nice. All right. Instructions for use. So we have the 89 piece set here. Um, yeah, so those are all the components there. In that warning down there, wear safety goggles. Uh, I would definitely recommend the limited time I've been working on guns, I've been hit in the face with springs um, that appeared to be captive or it's not moving and all of a sudden yeah right in the cheek so uh, I definitely recommend wearing safety glasses let's 
pick this up here. So you can see there's um, 54 pieces of flat bit blade bits here. Um, looks like we got some Phillips bits here. Got some torque bits. Looks like three of those. Um, eight hex bits. Um, got some specialty tools too, which is kind of cool. I haven't had a chance to use these because I have a feeling some of these are for um, AR builds and gunsmithing, and I don't have an, an AR right now. I'm planning on building one, but I'm just waiting for our government to uh, decide if they're going to confiscate AR-15s which is probably going to be in the next month or so. So I'm going to wait till after that. And then if they decide not to go ahead and confiscate like they did in Australia, a bunch of a-holes, um, then I'll be proceeding with my five-year AR build, which I planned on doing five months ago. But I just put it on pause. Anyway, we're not talking about ARs today. We're talking about this set. So that's pretty much it. Looks like we have some extensions here, two different uh, drivers, different lengths, and looking forward to using it. So anyway, that's the video today, nice and short. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below. If do you have this set, that'd be pretty cool to listen to any comments about uh, your experience with the set. Maybe there's another set out there that's better. So leave a comment. And I think that'll wrap up. Um, other than that, uh, have a great day. And the next video will be about that green box over there and what I plan to do with it. Okay, have a great day. Thanks, bye.